Looking forward to another busy college football Saturday, of course. Still number one on the leaderboard at Wage Talk this season, 68.8%. A white-hot 12-2 CFB run entering Friday, 41-18. My last 59 college football releases going back to last season. Here on the Power 5, we keep plugging along. It's a 164, 141, and 10 run with free plays across all sports uh, here on the show. I've got some off-the-wall matchups today for you. Breakdown, if you want breakdowns on two of the more marquee games for Saturday, Notre Dame Navy and Penn State Wisconsin, you can check, a lot, check out my standalone previews elsewhere here on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. And as a reminder, you can always comment down below with your thoughts on my selections also, if you'd be so kind to hit that thumbs up button, your support always greatly appreciated. All right, here we go. Number one, North Texas plus eight versus Tulane. I said we were going a little off the wall. Uh, this one kicks off at noon Eastern. I think it's my first time going back to Denton County. Shout out to the Von Ericks. Check out the t-shirt. Uh, to back the Mean Green since the season opener. Uh, that was when they upset South Alabama all you need to know about North Texas since then is this. They could score. Top 10 in points per game in the country, 41.3. Top 3 in yards, 528 per game. The Mean Green are also a perfect 6-0 ATS their last six home games. Now, they are coming off a loss, 52-44 at Memphis. Covered as 11-point underdogs, but probably should have won outright considering they had a 653 to 526 edge in total yards. Yes, they put up 653 yards of offense and somehow lost. Meanwhile, Tulane, they may be considered by some to be in the running for the top G5 team in the country right now, but the Green Wave were very lucky to beat Rice 24 to 10 last week. Benefited from a plus 5 turnover margin in a game that was tied midway through the fourth quarter. Got to take the points with the high-scoring dog here. Okay, let's now head back to the MAC, the conference I know so well. After all, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I am one of the five to six most famous MAC grads you'll find anywhere. Earlier in the week, I said to take the points with Akron against Eastern Michigan. Obviously, still stand by that. But let's also take an even worse MAC team this week. What do you say? That being Kent State, plus 19 and a half. At Western Michigan. Yes, Western Michigan is the lone unbeaten MAC team in conference play. But the Broncos' three conference wins have been by a total of 20 points. Here they're laying 19 and a half. Western Michigan has allowed 40 or more in two of those wins. And the other game, they allowed over 500 total yards to Akron. So I can't get on board with this line move. Now, after getting the backdoor cover for us, against Ball State two weeks ago. Kent State was terrible last week at Bowling Green. Let's not sugarcoat that one iota. The Golden Flashes, they're the lone remaining winless team in the country now that Kennesaw State won on Tuesday. 16 straight losses for Kent State going back to last season. But five of their last nine in conference play have been by 18 points or less. Just need them to stay within three scores. I think they can do that. Go Flashes, go. One more MAC play for you this week, and that's Bowling Green plus two and a half at Toledo. This number is down from the open, plus three and a half. That's okay. I'd probably sprinkle a little on the money line here as well. I think this is the worst Toledo team in quite some time. They did upset Northern Illinois last week as three-point road underdogs, but did so despite getting outgained 391 to 285 in a game where both teams played with backup quarterbacks. Northern Illinois, if you can believe it, was two for eight on fourth down with four drives ending in Toledo territory, plus the Huskies missed a 47-yard field goal. Third time in the last four games, Toledo scored 21 points or less on offense. Meanwhile, BG's 3-4 and straight-up record, very misleading, I'd say. Two of the losses were to Penn State and Texas A&M by a combined 13 points. Those are two college football playoff contenders right there. The Falcons also led in the fourth quarter at home in their other two losses to Old Dominion and Northern Illinois. Time for some positive variants to go their way. I like BGSU plus two and a half. By the way, both these MAC games I've talked about, as well as Eastern Michigan, Akron, 3.30 Eastern kickoffs. All right, let's get out of the MAC and talk about some teams you're more familiar with. We've got a top 25 matchup in Eugene at 3.30 Eastern. Although you wouldn't know it's a top 25 matchup, judging by the point spread, number one Oregon is a massive 21 and a half point favorite over number 20, Illinois. I do not care. This Illinois team is a total fraud. Approaching Ponzi scheme status, quite frankly. Lucky to beat Kansas. 
Lucky to beat Nebraska. Blew a huge lead against Purdue and won 50-49 to in overtime. Closed as five-point home underdogs last week against a lousy Michigan team and got out game three, 22-267. to But the Illini won 21-7 thanks to a plus-three turnover differential. I'm sick of Brett Bielema on the fighting Illini. Admittedly, I was completely wrong about this team coming into the season, so I know this comes across as sour grapes. I know they covered a similar spread, plus 19 at Penn State earlier this year. That's their only loss, the Illini. But they were statistically dominated in that game. They should have lost worse than 21-7. to Oregon is better than Penn State. And check this trend out, guys. Top 25 games where we have a favorite of 21 or more points. That's when two top 25 teams face off. The chalk is 16-6 and ATS since 2005. Quack, quack, I'm on the Ducks. Let's round it out. Kansas plus 9.5 versus Kansas State. Full disclosure, I like this more at 10. But I think the Jayhawks, who finally covered a spread last week, keep this one close. I had them last week over their team total of 26.5. That bet cashed in the first half. Uh, Kansas went on to route Houston, 42-14. to Yes, as I just mentioned, it was the first time the Jayhawks covered a spread all year. They're now 1-6 and six against the number. But let's not forget that this is a team once upon a time, that was ranked in the top 25. You want to talk about motivation. The Jayhawks have lost 15 straight times to Kansas State, going 4-11 ATS. Obviously, Kansas State's a lot better than Houston. Wildcats coming off back-to-back impressive road wins over Colorado and West Virginia. But let's not forget last year, Kansas led this Sunflower State showdown by 11, despite having to start a third-string quarterback. Jalen Daniels and the Jayhawks have had this game circled ever since. This is their Super Bowl. Got to take the points. 8 p.m. Eastern kickoff, by the way, Kansas, rock chalk in that one. Let us now go ahead and recap today's Power 5. Number 1, North Texas, plus 8 versus Tulane. Number 2, Kent State, plus 19.5 at Western Michigan. Number 3, Bowling Green, plus 2.5 at Toledo. Number 4, Oregon, minus 21.5 versus Illinois. And number 5, Kansas, plus 9.5 at Kansas State. Don't tell Kelly Stewart. All right, you can comment down below with your thoughts and questions on any of those games. Any other games you might have a question on, leave that down below as well. Just let me know what you're betting on Saturday as well. Always enjoy reading that. Speaking of, right now at wagertalk.com, I have three college football plays locked and loaded for Saturday. Two are noon Eastern time kickoffs, so don't delay. WT.buzz slash BP. One more time, I am number one in CFB this season. 68.8% 68.8% overall. That includes a white hot 12 and 2 run, 41 and 18 last 59 going back to last season. And the winning doesn't stop there because Sunday in the NFL, I've got a 5% max bet. So far, I've released just one NFL max bet the entire season. It was three weeks ago on the Broncos minus two and a half. They destroyed the Raiders 34 to 18. You also may want to consider a three day all access pass for just $69. That way, you get all my college football. The 5% NFL max, which is 35 by itself, plus any more football, soccer, NBA, or MLB, World Series starts Friday, that I release over the weekend. You get it all for $69, three days. And if you want to lock in long term, you can get everything for the next 30 days for just over $8 per day, $249. That deal is available on my page as well. One more time, wt.buzz slash bp. That does it now. For Saturday's edition of the Power 5, smash that like button if you enjoyed it. I hope you did. Also, make sure you are subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel. Click that bell for instant alerts. And until next time, guys, let's cash some tickets.